hot summer. In fact, the federal government says the first six months of this year have been the warmest in record keeping history, and those records date back to 1880. Now, believe it or not, the record high temperatures may actually be the cause for another phenomenon of the summer, shark sightings at the beach. Warm water temperatures brought on by the summer heat wave have brought sharks closer to shore. And those sharks, of course, eat lots of fish that the fish are coming on shore. So we're looking for some answers here. And for those answers, we turn to Reese Halter, who's a conservation biologist with Cal Lutheran University. You're seeing sharks um, in places that typically do not get them. Uh, for instance, in New Jersey, they've had a lot of shark sightings. Yeah, what we're seeing basically is, look, about 50 species of sharks come uh, inshore to, to birth. Uh, it's just uh, what we're seeing Contessa now is that they're about eight weeks early. The water temperatures from Sandy Hook to Cape May, 77 to 80 degrees, about six degrees warmer. Also, the temperatures from Florida to Newfoundland are about three degrees warmer. So the sharks are following the, their uh, fish and, and they're moving north. Uh, sooner so we're seeing them all right I understand you're also having an issue in Southern California with uh, stingrays yeah we've got stingrays and uh, yesterday we were out sea kayaking and for goodness sakes I, I saw this enormous uh, black jellyfish uh, th uh, the bell is three feet wide uh, maybe 20 25 feet long and and they're coming uh, north the water temperatures are, are warming up and these critters are are following the food is there a danger that goes along with these um, animals coming so far north so much earlier than they normally do yeah, for beachgoers, certainly, and, and what we're seeing in Southern California uh, along the La Jolla shores are nets because, uh, of course, the, the, the jellies and uh, the rays, they sting, and, and uh, hotels don't want their patrons to be stung. And, and of course, along the East Coast, uh, where it's very hot now, you know, the, the beachgoers, they want to go in the water, and, and uh, it's, it's a trade-off for sure. But what about uh, for the animals themselves? I mean, is, is there any consequence? to the fact that you have all these fish in warmer waters coming closer to the shores and the sharks following them or does you know if next summer you go back to normal temperatures everything's fine it's just a, an well, anomaly yeah, no, I mean, basically, the, the, the fish are going where they see the, the, the plankton and their food, and the sharks are following, and, and we'll continue to watch this uh, year in, year out, as, as they look for food and look for space. So it's a, it's a real deal for people to keep out of their way, basically. And, Reese, sometimes when we look at um, warmer-than-normal bodies of water, for instance, when you have an El Nino year or a La Nina year, it can create yeah. its own weather, the fact that the water water is, is warmer than normal. In this case, it, does it have any effect on weather? Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, the La Nina, which we're starting to, we're into, which is the, the, the cooling of the Western Pacific as it moves over toward us and then the Atlantic uh, on your side, uh, it, it uh, spurs on uh, terrific hurricanes and uh, unfortunate for the Gulf region, but we're sure not out of the woods down there. Yeah, and again, we just heard from experts this week that, for instance, New York City is way overdue for a big hurricane, in part because we haven't had one in a long time, and in part because Man. we're at those right angles with the bedrock underneath that just allows a storm surge. They've been warning about that one for a while. So, Reese, we're keeping an eye on it. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Now to the rundown of today's number ones. Hawaii leads a new...